Hi guys, Katie here and welcome back to my channel. So um, today I thought I would just build um, a little starter family home. I've got the family at the front there. I just kind of um, rolled the dice to see what I would get. So I've got mum, dad and um, a daughter, I believe. So I knew that I wanted to do a two story starter house because you don't see many starter houses in the sims that are two story because let's face it you don't have a lot of money obviously but when you have when you have a couple more sims when they already have a child you do get slightly more so i believe i had bang on twenty thousand to make this with uh because i had twenty two thousand and then i spent two thousand obviously on the plot of land so i think this one comes out at something like nineteen and a half but it is officially a two-story um, family starter home. This is just on a little lot in Newcrest. And yeah, so it's got quite a lot of room, actually. I was quite impressed with the amount of um, room I got. And it doesn't have a huge amount of detail because obviously it's a starter home. And I did make sure that they'd have lots of um things that they could do just to you know get started with work you know they've got a computer they've got a tv the daughter's got a few things to do this is made with completely just base game content once again just so it's more accessible to you guys and this will of course again be on the gallery if you just type in hashtag simmer down katie or look up my um id which is simmer down katie as well then you will be able to find it. That's Katie, K-A-T-I-E. So, yeah. So, we're just getting the roof on here. I had um, a bit of a faff with that, but then just pulled it through to make it look all right. So, as you can see, it looks like quite a big start home. I don't... I, I the, I, That bit of the front is actually going to be, like, a front porch. Um... And it's probably out like a square more than I would want it to be. But I had serious issues with the roof if I didn't do that. So that's why it's quite a big porch. This bit at the back is kind of like, I know, this is where this is where it gets even bigger, which is amazing for a starter home. And I suppose if I hadn't done this, then they would have been able to have a few more details. But it's not like it's bare. It's just, you know, it's not as fussy and as detailed as you'd make it if. You had an unlimited budget that's all so yeah so this is kind of like you know one to develop but that bit at the back is kind of like your conservatory kind of thing which obviously is a big thing here in the uk we could like a good old conservatory to sit in um might also be known as a sunroom but yeah and again i base game windows just suck they just they just do they just i just hate base game windows uh, yeah, so, but I do like the shape of this house. It's not just a big flat box. There's different levels. Obviously, right there, I realised I'd missed a bit of roof. And I'm pretty sure I do do something with that in a minute. I'm 99% sure I didn't just leave that like that. But I guess we will find out in a minute. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you might want to add a bit of roof on there. If not, no, there we go. See, yeah. I... I wasn't having a total space head moment today so there we go yeah and then this back bit is like i said it's um it's the conservatory yeah the other thing i don't like is the lack of white double paned doors in the base game pack but i used a single one and it looks fine and it looks nice so that's all that matters saving some money there by using the terrain tools to put a path in I do zero landscaping because of uh, budget constraints. Okay, so yeah. Um, I do take out some internal walls though. There we go. So it opens up the whole thing. Also saves a bit of money, obviously. And I seem to have a thing at the moment about, um, about tucking doors in behind stairs and making use of every last inch of space. So that's what I did there and yeah let's see it's got quite big upstairs as well annoyingly obviously a lot of room is taken up by the landing but you know what are you going to do about that so yeah so I think now yeah again I had to go with cheap floors and I do think that that first one the 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 
one that I've put on I do actually really like it and I think it goes with a lot especially when you use just like quite a neutral color on the walls which is what I did here I kind of wanted to do and I did remember banisters today everyone so I am getting better um I did want to do kind of a modern feel in the house today so this is be kind of like an older house that people have gradually modernized over time so we've still got like the nice original hardwood floors but I'm going to quirk it up with the decoration as much as possible on the budget that I had very small kitchen obviously here uh, keeping it nice and simple I did manage to get in a table and chairs as well enough room for all three of them and everything else that was needed so you know it, it is it's a small kitchen but even, uh, on the plot of land it's on there is room for extensions obviously um, but I did use base, base, base level counters, which oh, I hate. Um, but if I did that, it meant I could get them a nicer fridge and um, cooker. Because I think they're more important than the counters. Because, obviously, they get negative moodlets if they eat bad food. And they get bad food from using bad cookers and um, refrigerators. I think, in the end, though, I did stick to the cheaper ones. Just because... It, um, it saved me some money in the end, which I needed um, later on. See, that I think that was me just like checking the numbers, actually. Um, that little dramatic pause there. But look, and I even remember to put a bin in. So we do have a downstairs and an upstairs bathroom. I could have taken one out again and, and saved some money, but I have used the base stuff. Now, this is a trick I learned from The Sim Supply, who I watch and love. Um, so you can actually get a whole bathroom in a 4 by 4 space. You just need to use your move objects cheat and then slightly embed them into the wall. So if you don't know the cheat of how to move objects off grid, you either hold down Alt or in my case, you hold down Alt GR, hold it down. And when you move the object, it moves it off the grid and you can um, be more specific. It doesn't work on everything. Some items like on counters and shelves just simply I can't get to move. I'm sure there is another cheat for it. But um, yeah, that is how you do that. So I think, yeah, I don't think I'm coming upstairs yet. I think I've literally, yeah, no, I'm going back downstairs in a second. I've literally just come up to do the banisters. Oh, no, no, I know what it is. It's because I don't see the lounge as um, a necessity because obviously the living space isn't in the living room isn't a necessity but the bedrooms are so when I saw how much I'd spent already because obviously you can see the total down in the bottom hand corner there uh I thought right okay well what I need to do is I need to go up and do the bedrooms first bedroom family bathroom do that and then go down and see what I've got left to spend in the living room afterwards so I did actually reduce down the size of the landing there because it was just totally unnecessary i did need a bit more room in the master bedroom just to be able to put a wardrobe or chest of drawers in and obviously i went for the chest of drawers now i did actually put a bit of detail and a bit of faff into this bedroom because i think again i kind of forgot i was on a budget and just started thinking oh these would look nice and these would look nice and these would look nice and let's have a completely unnecessary rug that looks nice um, I did choose cheap stuff, but um, yeah, I did. And at one point in a minute, I'll just come away and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, OK, I remembered I, I don't need to do all that. Uh, come away before you spend too much money. Um, but I did put in some cheap curtains. It's another thing I hate about this game. I think the curtains and blinds are just awful and we need more uh, more options. So, but yeah, this is a base game one and it looks all right. Yeah, and that was the point where I realised, oh, yeah, stop spending because... Um, you, you've got a limited budget so this is the little girl's room I was going to go all out pink and then I was like no nah, it's too much I'm not overly keen on too many of the shades of pink but I do love 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 this wallpaper it is one of my absolute favorite wallpapers in the game um, love this one and I love the rainbow version of this with the white background and then all the sparkly bits of rainbow now I jam-packed quite a lot into this little girl's room so yeah she's got a desk and if I'd have had the parenting packs and stuff turned on, I'd have put a diary on there, but I didn't. So, but from what I could remember from her personality, 
she was a creative so I did put in a violin for her she's even got little curtains I think this room ended up looking super super cute and I tried to make the toys appropriate so I think I put like action doll and then a giant stuffed teddy bear um, and I was looking for a few more bits but in the end I just put her bag on her desk with some books um so she's got a couple of like action figure toys in there and a violin and then i was like yep okay you need to stop again because you need to stop spending so went on to the family bathroom i still got i got the double tubs because i think for families they're great again they might get a negative mood lit from it but it's you know it is what it is you've just got to get stuff in there you could always delete one of the bathrooms um and upgrade the other and that kind of thing but I still got um, a few bits of faff in there because you 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 just you wouldn't have a bathroom without a towel rack or without a toilet roll holder so they're in there and then I could see how much and what I had left for the living room and this is where I did want to kind of do it plain but modern you know with the grey walls but adding a pop of colour they did manage to get a TV granted it is like the oldest box in the world but they did that the mum is a painter so managed to get the easel in there and i even managed to get a computer desk in there so it was brilliant yeah managed to get it all in there and then i think i do add um just a little bit more decoration obviously i've got those cheap spots in there as well but you know this was just like a starter home this is what they've bought they've spent their last dimes on and or smoleons and they've even managed to afford a pot plant so and then i just cheated there and just scaled obviously scaled it up but i was super super happy with it um i even remember to put a mailbox in and i remember to put a rubbish bin in which is the other thing i always forget um, I don't think I put anything else out the back because I just simply couldn't afford it. So, yeah. And then there's the family. I was just, oh yeah, I was just reloading it there so I could see the total cost. Because obviously it does go down slightly because of lot value. So it deducts the lot value. And there was just me choosing some traits. So here we are into the screenshots coming in the front porch. There's the living room couple of shots of that so you can see everything there's the hidden door to the bathroom up to the stairs through to the kitchen which we did manage to get three seats in so it's a nice cozy little family home there's the master bedroom we even have a dresser little girl's room which i adore i would have been totally happy with that so yeah this is available on the gallery hashtag simmer down katie do take a look and feel free to download thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time have a great day